Hey guys, Dread Fun here with another one of my time lapse video uploads as a giant bike drives by in my neighborhood. <laughs> Anyways, drawing Ken Shamrock. Uh, luckily, last year, I think it was last year, I got to meet Mr. Shamrock. He came to uh, the Toy Con and uh, was uh, meeting some of his fans and stuff. So I was pumped to, to see this UFC Hall of Famer. Uh, I can remember way back in the day watching uh, Ken take on Hoist Gracie. And uh, it, it was great. Um, I mean, I was one of those guys that wasn't sure if this was going to be pro wrestling or not, or if it was going to be real fighting. And I was pleasantly surprised that it was uh, real fighting. A little bit horrified, too. Anyways, uh, as you can see, I'm laying out Ken's uh, sinewy, handsome features. Uh, I chose this image because uh, I like it. It's a, you know, a nice uh, view of a, his square jaw. And it also has a, a UFC glove or an MMA glove there. Um, this is kind of based upon my, uh, you know, my simple approach of laying things out in a grid work. So I got a few marks lined down where I'm going to lay things out and then I go from there. Right now, I'm really focusing on putting down the darks around the eyes and uh, highlighting, you know, creases and whatnot and, and making uh, instant choices on whether or not uh, I'm going to smudge a certain way or how I'm going to do it because I'm trying to keep in context the contours of Ken's face and Ken has, uh, has used his face and his profession and it's gotten hit a few times. So, uh, as I was doing it, you can definitely uh, you can see the roadmap of uh, years of work that this man has put in, literally on his face. So yeah, now I'm just sort of detailing the other eye. Uh, his nose again was one of those that's definitely been smacked around a few times. Um, I can remember doing this part, thinking, "Ah, oh, crap! I think I did the inside line too dark." But again, um, it looks like the the light's coming down from this side, so. Everything's going to be darker off past the glove. Uh, I only use a, a, a simple uh, mechanical pencil with micron leads, or not micron leads, that's pens. I <laughs> use, um, uh, what is it, Des? Mecano, Mecano leads. Mecano, yeah. Yeah, they're just cheap, simple little uh, 0 0.5 or 0, 0 0.5 leads. Uh, and then what you'll see here is as I, as I finish stuff up around his face, I'll then bring out uh, an old uh, dusty brush that I use like a painting brush and I will go ahead and I will smudge stuff up. Uh, the cool thing about Ken's face uh, and a lot of uh, a lot of guys that uh, that have lived uh, lived their life in their face is uh, all those little lines that, and imperfections uh, they make Ken Ken and uh, as I go and pull these down and lay things out you know making sure to get the zygomatic arches in and his chin right and the lips and the eyes you can really see it and uh, when I got to meet the man, it was definitely impressive. Uh, I'm a shy boy. Uh, sometimes I get a little too excited. And uh, it's hard for me to contain that excitement. Ask uh, my wife and anybody <laughs> that really knows me. Uh, it's a, it's a, it, it, sometimes it can be a bit manic. So when I meet some of these uh, legendary uh, heroes from my past and icons, it, it can be tough. I, I get a little nervous. Not, not like scared nervous, but nervous like in the fact that I'm worried I'm going to scare the crap out of these guys, or I'm going to be too intense or something. But Ken was a, a consummate professional. Uh, met him through a, a mutual friend, Jan, who apparently beat him earlier in an arm wrestling match. Uh, Ken was none too impressed about that, so I don't know if there's going to be a rematch. Uh, again, a, a big controversial thing. There were rumors about like double hands and stuff like that. I don't know. Anyways. It was great because I didn't just get to take a picture with him, but I got to have like a, a five, ten minute conversation. And not just a conversation with him, but I also got to see him interacting with other, other people. Not just the fans that were coming up to get pictures, but I also got to see him interact with the people that were helping him. Like I said, Jan and Ryan, and uh, there's a bunch of others that uh, bring these, uh, these wrestlers and these combat fighters to our local area for us to... To, to sort of enjoy and Ken did this uh, awesome sort of uh, improv uh, later that night or I think it was later in the day either way 
So, uh, as you saw there, I just uh, finished uh, smudging up Ken's face. Probably the gentlest uh, his face has ever been treated in, in such a way. I'm just joking, Ken. Anyways, uh, on a side note, you, you always think you're an alpha male until you meet another alpha male and you realize you're lower on the alpha male totem pole. The dude was jacked. I mean, he's got veins bigger than my fingers. But yeah, now I'm uh, doing the glove and uh, the cool thing about this is um, I lay out all the darks and then that smudging effect really comes in. Um, and then interspersed throughout this, you can see me taking pictures of uh, this to upload to Instagram. And uh, hopefully when this video comes together, the wifey can put a picture of Ken and I uh, standing side by side, side by side holding this actual picture, which was a gift to Ken, which he accepted. And uh, I was very uh, honored that he, he would want to uh, actually keep this, this drawing for himself. I always get amazed. I know people think it's kind of weird that like, oh, dude, man, your artwork is so great. Uh, you're so talented like why wouldn't somebody want it to me I uh, it's really hard I just I still see a lot of mistakes and so a lot of the anxiety I have about these videos is uh, I'm gonna see them and I'm gonna lose it and throw toys around the room and you know everyone's gonna know what a nutter I really am so now uh, I'm just finishing up uh, there, uh, this was back in the day when Ken was uh, had those cool sideburns too uh, I really like the way that they, uh, they, they highlighted his superhero-esque jaw. As a comic book guy who's got a history in comic books and loves drawing comic images, uh, I really thought Ken had that whole Captain America type, uh, type build. Um, you know, it, it, the only problem I had with this image was, uh, again, I just, the whole time I kept looking up at that left eye and I was worried that... Uh, it just wasn't going to match, and luckily it all came together. Oh yeah, I even had the little uh, the little chin chin thing on that one. Soul patch. The soul patch, yeah, for the soul brother. <laughs> yeah, and Ken, like I mean, a prolific professional wrestler too. I mean, I loved all his work with the the WWE or was it the WWF at the time? Who can remember? But yeah, I'm just finishing up here, uh, getting in all those uh, muscles in and around his neck, and uh, then I'm going to work on his mangled cauliflower ear. Well, Ken's ears aren't actually too bad. Um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of guys in MMA have a history in wrestling, so uh, much like the guys I know in rugby uh, tend to have uh, broken cartilage stuff in their ears, and uh, they can definitely look interesting. You know, if you ever run into somebody, always check out their ears. If their ears are mangled, just just thank them for their time and, and, and move on. Because chances are you're, you're not going to do anything worse to them than what's been done to their ears. So yeah, now uh, again I'm laying out uh, Ken's hair. Um, as an artistic note, uh, one of the things that I've learned over the years that has helped me is, uh, you'll see right now, I'm kind of just putting in the lines, but I'm not darkening it up right away. Um, there you can see uh, it's a light shade that'll then cast, I don't know if it's cascade, but in and around the crowned area. I'm really cognizant of not going too deep and too dark because uh, the highlight of the scalp through the hair is something that shows up on occasion and I really like showing that with the, especially with professional athletes because a lot of times and I'm pretty sure this picture was taken kind of like um, uh, the, the big ring thing that's blaring <laughs> in my eyes right now under under extreme light and uh, just this little these little subtle things where I'm laying out and leaving out certain areas for highlights really do make a big difference um, I'm pretty sure I didn't have my electrical eraser at this time so I'm just going to be using a pliable eraser to pull out the graphite and that is the key that pulls this whole piece together. Uh, shortly you're going to see, uh, I'm going to pull it out. It's, just, it's like a chunk of Play-Doh. On occasion, oh there I go smudging again. I'll use like a real eraser and now I have uh, like this electric eraser that, that sort of buzzes and it's really cool. Here we go, boom. Um, cognizant of, you know, getting out, cleaning out that area so, so Ken steps up. It really looks good when you get it done in the eyes and around the nose if you get the highlights right. It can make a piece pop and stand out off the page. 
So yeah, this this was a blast to do, and I, I'm humble humbled that Ken accepted this, and uh, I'm gracious to Jan and Ryan and everyone else that helped pull this together. And uh, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, pass it along. I know Ken's seen the image. Maybe we can get Ken to see the video. He's a busy man. I believe he's uh, back into the pro wrestling. Anyway, Dread Fun out. This has been a DreadFun.com production. Thanks for watching.